dog. And I mean, as you see, it does reduce things quite a bit. I mean, that was, that's quite a bit of debris. And I'll show you what it looks like when I dump it out. Still SH-56C. Works pretty good. This is a uh, creeping fig uh, debris we got crawling on this house. And it, and it cleans it up pretty good. Check it out. It will suck up, it'll also suck up uh, mini pine bark nuggets like this right here. Stay away from really, uh, you want to stay away from stuff like this, like that. That'll get clogged. But other than that, I mean, this thing is great. If you don't have a blower, you can do stuff like this, clean up the edge. This thing really is a, a great tool. All it is is a handheld leaf blower in reverse. Um, the thing I don't like about it is I wish that the tube, I mean, I understand that tube has to be, you know, a certain diameter for it to get maximum velocity, but I wish that that tube right there was bigger because that tube gets clogged. And I mean, as you see, it does reduce things quite a bit. I mean, that was, that's quite a bit of debris and I'll show you what it looks like when I dump it. I mean, it's still strapped around my chest, so sorry for the angle. But, I mean, look at that. That was debris from all the way up there, over there, just reduced, you know? The best place to use the steel SH-56C is clients with stone. Uh, you can upsell your, your clients on uh, stone install and give them, give them that as a benefit, is that when you're sucking up mulch, it doesn't really get as clean because you're also removing the mulch as you suck up their beds. But with stone beds like Brown River Rock, look at what you can do here. Check this out. You just did a bunch of trimming, right? You got all this debris down here. Look at what you can do. Like this either i don't think that you should have to poke something in there to get that undone um, because if you get a clog here or here which is usually in here you have to stick a screwdriver or a stick or something in there to, just to get this undone i also don't like that in here they gave you a piece of plastic that stopped this thing from being able to go down it stopped it from being able to twist around like this uh, but that obviously wore out so they need to do something about that maybe an aluminum tube here i mean this is only a $199. I'd rather pay $300 and have a better quality one. Um, there is a bigger one, the 80, 86 something, I think, or the 85. I like it. You know, the bag is cool. There is a little trick. If you leave like a one inch opening on the zipper, you'll get more velocity going through there. Um, you can mess with the, the carburetor to get it to run a little stronger, but either way, I like it. It's pretty strong. I'll show you some more stuff.
can also take the bag off like this and and you can uh, compost beds you know if, you're, if you don't worry about the mulch and things like that you can actually shred and, and blow those chips directly back into the bed just kind of like this way you end up with a uh, smaller thing and you turn it into something smaller that can break down and get that nutrition that nitrogen back into the soil um, it also saves you space in your trailer not gonna lie